Hello, I'm Jason Lai. I had such a good response to the distillation of geranium oil that I thought I'd show you what I've been doing with these flower buds, the, the, the lavender flower buds that I bought at the farmer's market recently. Lavender um, has a much higher yield of the oil, so we should be able to see, oh, excuse me, Zoe, plenty of it uh, separating out in this uh, separatory funnel here when we start the distillation. So let me give you a quick rundown of the equipment. So what we have here, this is a heating mantle uh, for, from a laboratory. This here is a two, two liter round bottom flask that fits nicely inside. And we just put two, uh, two, two stoppers loosely in there. This here is a, a separatory funnel. What's special about it is this piece here, which is a pressure equalizing um, bypass. And this enables the vapor carrying the oil and the water vapor to come up around the, the, the valve here and up to the condenser, which we're going to put on top. So that goes there. And we'll use a clamp stand just to steady it. It doesn't have to clamp it, it just has to, just has to you know, make sure it doesn't fall over or anything. Um, the less you can clamp glassware, the better, I find. So, and then here's our condenser, which is going to go on top, and that's connected to a little fountain pump, which is in the sink. So let's use a funnel to um, get the lavender flowers into the round bottom flask, and note that the heat and everything else is off at this time. There we go. And make sure that it comes out the bottom of the funnel, and it hasn't like clogged up in there if you can't see through your funnel. So we've got a fountain pump in the sink, we'll put some ice in there, and that of course is connected up to the uh, condenser for when we when we run the cold water through it. Let's plug the pump in. There we go. Don't put too much in here. I have about uh, two tenths of a pound because uh, if you've got too much in then you'll get localized heating and some of the lavender will burn and your oil will smell funny. Alright, we've connected the power to the heating mantle now. And we're adding ice. So the liquid is beginning to boil. You can, see, you can see it dripping back down there. And the vapor has started to enter into the bypass here. Hasn't quite reached up to the condenser yet but we should start to see liquid uh, dripping back down here. Make sure that this valve is in the off position. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's have a look, see what's going on down here. Bubbling away. Oh, yes, that's looking good. Here we go, you can just start to beginning to see the uh, oil forming, layer forming there. Here's the condenser. There's the uh, liquids condensing in the condenser. You can see the vapor. And down it all runs. Nicely dripping off the bottom into the separatory funnel. Ooh, and there's some oil forming already. And this is all bubbling away down here nicely. Great. So I've just turned the heat off and you can see there's some cloudiness developing here. That's the um, oil in the water kind of hydrosol and here's a nice layer of uh, lavender oil. It's best not to overheat the lavender because it will burn and then that will taint the, uh, the fragrance of the oil. There you go, just clamp. So it's been a couple of hours now and uh, this is cooled right down to room temperature. The oil separated at the top and we're going to open the valve here and separate out this uh, hydrosol here. It's possible you want to get the interface of the water phase and the oil phase trapped within the stock crop here. Well, that's tricky to do. So there's the oil, and here's the hydrosol. 
hydrosol into a, um, an empty spray bottle. It smells great. So there you go, pure lavender oil and a nice smelling uh, water suspension with some lavender oil in it. Thank you, hope you enjoyed it.